Yo guys, what's going on? Trevin F here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Flushed Away. If you guys never seen the movie before, you should definitely watch the movie. Um, just checking out some sound options, and it looks like there's nothing we can do about graphic wise. So yeah, Flushed Away is basically about a guy who got flushed down a toilet um, by being tricked in a way, and uh, he expo he explores a new world in the sewers. So yeah, that's basically most of this game. You play as two characters. You play as Rodney and Rita. You don't play as the guy in the middle. <laughs> um, even though I feel like he'd be fun to play as. So, let's start a new game. World 1. It's 9 o'clock. If you don't hurry, we're going to miss our flight. Goodbye, Roddy. Bye-bye. I finally have the place to myself. I'm gonna live it up. Happy birthday, Master Roderick. You remembered. We prepared a delightful party for you, sir. Thank you, chaps. Most kind. Everything is ready for you, sir. Just follow us. So, funny enough, those guys were not in the original movie. Alright, so I don't remember the controls. Press right or left on the control pad to move, Roddy. Double tap right or left to run. Okay, so that's how you run. Jump and press the control pad towers. Oh, towards a large. A large I can't read! Then press the A button to climb onto it. There we go. But yeah, these guys were not in the original movie. Roadblock. Jump towards the block sack and grab onto the top. Then press A button to pull yourself up. Alright. The jumping noise effect is actually hilarious in this game. You'll need to crawl through some tight spaces. Try pressing down and right. I found this really funny because Roddy can also do this. I found that really funny. I had no idea those were pencils until now. Yikes, a cockroach. Press the B button to attack. Die. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know those barricades were pencils. Knock flies out of the air. Press and press the B one to do a mid-air attack. Alright. I guess the Roddy they'd be about like average size, right? Makes sense, yeah. Slug! Run and press the B button to do a dash attack. You can dish out the damage, but enemies can't hurt you. Nice. Getting crowded? Check your gauge in the upper right. Press the R button when it is full to do a flush attack. Go ahead and practice all you want for now. Prepare to be dead. So, that gauge doesn't usually fill up like that. The blue rupees that we're getting, they fill it up. I think just because it's a tutorial, that's why it's doing that. See that lever over there? Press the B button to attack it and watch the door open. I didn't know those are pencils. That's crazy. I clearly didn't pay attention enough when I was a kid. Well done, chap. The party is just about to begin. Brilliant. Course cleared. Yeah, those two little guys weren't in the movie before. So I wonder why they're like, hey, let's add them to the game. I think Roddy and Rita run the same. I think. There's something out there. Head to the kitchen sink and investigate. Alright. Now the real course begins. By the way, I haven't played this game since I was a kid, so I don't remember anything about this game. I just know, like, very little stuff. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I forgot they have these, like, little... ...fighting... ...arena things. I completely forgot about that. They're not too bad, I don't think. Also, is the yellow stuff that comes out of them, like... ...goo type of stuff? Or what are they? I have no idea. Do any of them drop like... Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy to think I haven't played this game in so long. And we can climb. I'm wow. I'm literally relearning this game all over again. You guys want to hear me play guitar? Beautiful, isn't it? I don't know if like I I kind now I think about it. I wonder if this was like a diss towards Rodney. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna make him play the guitar, and he's gonna be so bad that all these creatures die from it. <laughs> This one's kind of messed up in a way, but it's kind of funny. Alright, now let's hear what that creepy sound was. Chocolate Man! By the way, this game has like really great boss music. The most terrifying ball of goop has taken over the kitchen. Watch out for the paralyzing burp. The boss fight music is so good in this game. I love it. Oh, wow. I really love this music. It's just something about it. It's just like catching. So this boss fight is pretty easy. I know I'm making it look difficult to what it really is, but it's actually pretty easy. And also one thing I do remember is that once you get a boss down to a really low level of their health, the music gets a little bit faster. There we go. That's how we dodge that. So you'll hear it get faster. Like right there. Now, like right there. Now it's faster. And he moves faster a little bit too. Stop moving. Let me hit you. He's not even attacking. He's just moving. Tail power. Is he not going to attack me? And now he's dead. All the goop just falls off of him. Ah, a rat. Hey, what's the idea, mate? I thought you were a monster. Ah, oh, the stench. A sewer rat. So you wouldn't have any clothes I could borrow. Now we're flatmate. Now that we're flatmates. What's up? What does that mean? Wait, just a on second thought, let's make our friend feel welcome. What's a flatmate? Like, good pal? We prepared a nice hot tub just for you, Sid. A hot tub? Lovely jubbly. Go ahead, jump in. I'll put the I'll pull this lever to start the bubbles. Okay, this is smashing of you. He ain't no idiot. You, Plonka. You think I don't know a toilet from a hole in the ground? You were gonna try and flush me. No, no, no. It's a big hot tub. Deluxe mode. Well, we better get the bubbles going, right? Allow me. Sid ain't no fool. No, don't pull that lever. Ah! So I think this might be a British movie because all of the characters have a British accent. Bon voyage, mate. I think it is a British movie. Like it was made in the UK. Try to avoid hazards as you take ride down the sewer express. I think it is, but don't quote me on that. But I feel like it might be. So in this course, you gotta watch out for these obstacles. And you do more things like this from what I remember. And you guys probably don't need me to explain this, but that that uh, little timeline at the bottom is our progress. It shows how close we are to reaching the goal. There's a lot of stuff in here. It's crazy how much stuff we throw in, in the toilet and trash and sewer systems. And this is why our water's never clean. But who throws away false teeth? <laughs> who flushes false teeth? That's just weird to me. And a boot? Why would they... I don't think you would find things like that in a sewer. I don't... Are those spoons? It's crazy how much little detail I never paid attention to when I was a kid. We don't need the health because I'm already at full health, but... I mean, it's pretty simple. Just dodge all the obstacles and you're fine. It ain't too difficult. 
So as you can tell, it does get difficult as you keep going. Otherwise, if it was too easy, it would be fun. But I remember when I was a kid, I sucked at dodging all these obstacles. Like, it was so hard. But like, being an adult looking at all this now, it's so easy. Look at all these boots. Why are people throwing away the same exact boot? Do they have like a brand that they just hate and they're like, we're gonna flush it all away? I mean, I guess you could, technically. If you hate like a certain brand, like... If you hate like Nikes or Jordans, tennis shoes, you just throw those away in a sewer, I guess. We did it! Now we play as Rita. The Toad's Lair. That's strange. It's supposed to be here. There must be an entrance around here. That toad has my ruby. <sighs> Try to find the secret entrance to the Toad's Lair. So Rita's movesets are a little different. But Rita's like actually ready to fight. I like Rodney's tail ability more than Rita's kick ability. So I can't go there. Lots of slugs! But Rita ha definitely has way better combat moves, so... And uh, also ha Rita al also has like a really cool um, alt ability. Which is, if you guys watch the original movie, you can tell that like, she's good at combat. She does a cartwheel thing. I didn't even I didn't remember that. I thought she ran as well. I'm wrong. But yeah, I'll show you guys her her ultimate once uh, I have the um flush gauge fully done. I think each world has like three courses before you get to the boss fight, or maybe it's two. I don't remember fully. And also, if it looks like I know what I'm doing, I promise I don't. It's just kind of like no-brainers. You can kind of see what you have to do a little bit. As I get hit by that steam pipe. So, you gotta kind of wonder, right? Like, would this world smell really bad? Or would it be pretty decent? I mean, I guess because it's like a sewer and it's rats, it would smell terrible. But, like, it seems like they take care of themselves pretty well down here, right? I don't know. Just thinking out loud. Alright, so I don't want to waste her her flesh meter when... I guess... I guess it wouldn't be a bad time to use it. So yeah, she does that. What I was gonna say is I don't want to waste her flesh meter if it's, um... Just, like, one enemy. I want to save it. In case if it's like a, like a serious situation. And apparently we can still hit even through the bars. Yeah, I, so there's like pros and cons to both Rod and, Rodney and Rita's abilities. I like Rodney's tail ability more than Rita's little down kick thing. Um... Rita has better fighting moves, but I also like that Rodney runs instead of car wheels. I don't know, maybe I'm being like too picky or something, I don't know. Yeah, this game ha also has like an interesting soundtrack too. I think when it comes to like playing games and like doing stuff like that, I don't like think I, I don't think things like that are recognized enough. Like, I feel like that soundtracks should be worth mentioning a little bit more. These guys don't have any, like, type of shields at all. Give me, give me. I'm not really sure if those flies attack. I mean, they haven't really tried. Ugh! I ain't that the wrong way! Oh god, oh god. So apparently they do. I don't know if those flies attack, but these guys have like a little 
grenade launcher bazooka thing? I don't know. Yeah, you you basically fill up your flush meter pretty quickly. From what it seems like. Maybe it gets harder as you keep going to fill it up all the way. I don't know. Yeah, a lot of these levels are like... They're either for Rodney or Rita. I think I'm trying to remember. I think at some point you get to pick who you play as. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we keep playing, I guess. Can you stop? Spitting your boogers on me? They look like boogers. I don't know what you really call them. This music- yeah, but this music is actually pretty catchy. I will not lie. Alright, so that's open now. Take that, you slugs! Ah! Stop hitting me! It was a prank! Yeah, alright. These guys don't really do anything. I kind of thought, like, bigger enemies like that would have a little bit more of, like, a defense to them. Kind of like a boss battle. Yes, that's how we do with people. That guy's like in shock. He's like, oh. Look up for three bad rats in this area. You'll have to defeat all the other enemies around them before your attacks have any effect on them. Okay. Okay, so the flush gauge always starts at the beginning. So even if you have it all the way up, it doesn't matter. Oh god, I don't want to get hit. I don't want to get hit. Considering I'm already bad at dodging. I'm not really too sure that I was supposed to come this way first, but... I was like, you know what? There's enemies, I'm just gonna keep going. Ow, they hit me. Why would you hit me? What did I do to you? What, just because I evaded a layer? That seems a little extreme. Do you want to hit me? Ah, right, let's keep moving forward. Slugs and another bodyguard. An underpaid bodyguard, probably. Ooh, yes, health. Not that I really needed it, I guess. Alright, so that special doesn't do anything. I don't know why I thought it would do anything. I already hit it once, I think. Those guys, I don't remember them at all. They have a defense on them. I don't remember how to defeat them. They, what, we have to catch them off guard or something? Oh, I get it. That makes sense, yeah. So they have to like, do a, an attack. Like with their shield or something. That's interesting, actually. Huh. Adds more of a challenge to it, which is nice. Stop hitting me, please! I'm just trying to make it into the flushed world. So do these rats know that they're living in a, in a sewer? Or is this like a totally normal area for them? I guess that's the other guy. So what's the attack? I'm trying to think what the other attack would be. What would, what would his attack be that, like... What would it be? Because one guy had a shield. I don't think this guy does the same thing. What would it be? I don't know. These flies are going to keep coming back, probably, until he's defeated. There we go. I don't know if you would consider that... Cheating? I don't think it's cheating. And we keep going! 
Also, I thought about doing the new Super Mario Wonder uh, game. I might get it next week and do it as a series. Just because I kind of want to see... I kind of like want to express my opinion on it. Oh, I died! So, I did hear the new voice for Mario. As it's not Charles Marnay anymore. I'm kind of upset about it, but I know Charles has better things going on. Like, I think he's the new Nintendo speaker. I don't really, I don't remember what his title is, but I know that he's, um, enjoying this a lot. And, you know, we had a good run with Charles. He was a great voice actor for Mario. He really brought a lot of, like, emotion to the game, and he brought, he brought a lot of people to love Mario. Charles Marnay will always be the OG Mario, but it's all right. The new voice for Mario isn't too bad. Like, it's not, like, too noticeably different. Luigi sounds identical. I could be wrong, but that's just my opinion. That Luigi does sound the same. Mario sounds a little bit different. I don't know if Toad and uh, Yoshi and them got replaced, but... I know that Mario and Luigi are definitely different voice actors. I don't know if they're the same voice actor, like how Charles was for Mario and Luigi, but I would think that they would have Luigi be somewhat different. So I don't feel like it'd be easy to do Mario and Luigi like how Charles did it. Maybe there could be more to it, I don't know. But I think next week when I get paid, I think that's what I'll do for a series. All right, we got that open. Let's get them out of the way. We don't need the rupees. We're already all filled up. I'm actually surprised that none of those hit me. Let's keep going. My cat has this obsession with scratching my chair over her cat tree. She has a scratcher too, which is bizarre that she wants to scratch my chair more. So I asked my mom for a new chair, and I'm kind of afraid to get it because I'm afraid that my cat's gonna scratch the hell out of it. So that's why I'm like nervous about getting it. I just have to like put a cover or something on it just so she couldn't get it. Do they make covers for chairs? If they do, I should look into getting one. Just so if she tries to scratch my chair. Because I don't want a new chair to be scratched up. That's a new chair. And uh, when I got my chair years ago, it was like about 100 bucks. This one's 200 Not because the company that I got the chair from made their prices higher. They probably did, I don't know. But this chair is from a different company. And uh, it's more better than what I got. So I kind of want to try to keep it nice, if I can. It's supposed to be more comfortable, too. She got the rupee. Oh, we got a boss battle. I forget what his name is. Is it Spud? Spike. It's Spike. Oh, I love the epic music. You have to get through Spike before you can escape. I love this boss music. Anyone that disagrees, you're just wrong. I hate to tell you, but you're kind of wrong. Also, his fighting stance. He has a really good fighting stance. If he ever decides to show it. He's not showing his fighting stance. Oh, there we go. Why are you winding up your attacks as if you're a Bowser? I don't care what anyone says, he has the best fighting stance ever. Bro, you need to stop hitting me. Get back here. Ah, uh, here we go. Nah, 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 nah. Nope. I'm good. Ah, 
as if you thought that would work. Woo! Bye-bye! Smashing! Nice try. See you. Could you bring me back an ice pack? It's our favorite toad. My prize ruby has been plundered. Actually, I think it was stolen. Oh my god. Dim-witted furball, find Rita and get my ruby. Why do you go to? Rodents. So, actually, funny enough, he hates all rodents. But he has rodents working for him. Isn't that crazy? Alright, so we gotta shoot the obstacles that are in front of us. Oh god. I can't... I'm not sure what's in those. Oh, those barrels have health. Interesting. I did not mean to do that, but now I know that does that. There's a way that these shoot behind. Oh, okay. Yeah, Rita's both pretty cool. Whoa. I think this one does a blue ruby, yeah. Okay, so I definitely can tell I suck at this one. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There's so many of them. There's so many. There's so many, and they're all shooting. Stop shooting at me! I need that, I need that, I need that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. So are they just like one hit? That's what it looks like. Oh no. Maybe they're not one hit, I don't know. I'm trying to understand how this works. So I guess you're all probably wondering, why would a toad hire rodents to work for him if he hates rodents? I don't know. He probably thought to even out the playing field, I would assume. I'm not too fully sure. But that's, I guess, what it could sound like. But I also could be very wrong. Stop shooting! Leave me alone! If I ever own a boat and it's not a boat like what Rita owns, I don't want it. No, 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 no. Yes. Warning! Up. Oh, they're back. Go away. Uh uh. Do I still get hit? I wonder. Yeah, I do. Stop hitting me. Stop coming after me. Oh, come on. If, if it wasn't yours to begin with, it was never yours at all. That's how I think it goes. So I don't think this music gets faster when you take the enemy's health down. I don't think. I could be wrong. Alright. So let's make it... Alright, so we're gonna use this now. Ah, no! Stop, stop it! I'm surprised your boat could take this much damage. Oh god. Okay, so the music doesn't get faster. It's always hard to predict where they're gonna go! Are they just gonna do that same attack now? I wonder if it's only when you're close to them they do the same attack. No, they still do it. It's like, you think they would do something else. 
Okay, I guess not. Also, why do those pallets that were shooting at them... Or, why do the bullets that were shooting at them look like... pills? Also, it's pretty interesting that in the game they added this. Because it just seems like, in the movie, that they didn't show it in the beginning. So why put put into a game, I guess? I don't know. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think this series might be a longer episode series. I don't know. There's just so much to do in this game, and it's really fun. So I might make this a little longer of a concept. So I hope you guys liked the video, and if you guys did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, and... Let's see how long this series is going to take compared to Over the Hedge. <laughs> I've been Trevor Neff, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.